Do you like waffles? Cause I do. And do you like gingerbread? I do as well. Have you made a gingerbread house yet? I haven't either. Anyways, if you answered any... <laughs> Anyways, if you answered yes to any of those questions, this video is for you today because we're making a gingerbread waffle with a salted caramel cream cheese glaze and with some toasted pecans on top. What was it? Is it pecans or pecans? Pecans. Pecans. Whatever you like to say, stay tuned to the swaffle. first is we're going to make a salted caramel sauce that we're going to turn into a glaze for our waffles. So here is how you make it. Hey friends, okay, now we're about to get into making our gingerbread waffles. And what I like to do personally for my waffles is to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites and then beat the egg whites so that they're super fluffy. So then that way you get a really fluffy waffle. So I'm gonna show you all how to do that right now. You want kind of like soft peaks so it kind of like bends over a little bit um, and this will make your waffles super fluffy all right so next we're gonna get started on the rest of the waffles and then meet me back here to actually put it in the waffle maker
Um, so we're about to cook our waffles and I have this waffle maker right here. It's the Cuisinart Belgian waffle maker and I really like it because it makes the outside crispy and the inside super fluffy. Um, and it goes from the degrees or temperatures of one to four. So I always put it at three because I like waffles that are personally crunchy on the outside but fluffy on the inside. Um, but feel free to do it to your preference. Also, if you don't have a waffle maker, feel free to actually use a spatter to make pancakes. It actually comes out really good as well. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So, join us. <laughs> We are in the final stretch, actually not even the final stretch, like this is the last thing we have to do for our waffles. And I'm calling this a cream cheese salted caramel glaze. And all you're going to need is some cream cheese and your salted caramel sauce that we made earlier and a little bit of salt to gauge how much it is actually salty caramel. Anyway, so this is just like the cream cheese filling we made for the papaya French toast recipe. Um, and I'm just going to cream and beat up the cream cheese so that it's nice and fluffy and then I'll mix in the caramel with it. So if you met me back here, here's where we're at, right? So I mixed together the cream cheese and the salted caramel sauce and it didn't quite come out as much as a glaze as I would like it to. So what I'm gonna do is add some powdered sugar and a little bit of cream to it and we'll see where that gets us. And then I'm gonna taste it and then let you all know if I do any more revamping. All right, stay tuned. You already know it's time. So we made our gingerbread waffle with our salted caramel cream cheese glaze. We toasted some pecans to put on top. I threw a little pad of butter, you know what I'm saying? A little salty, a little sweet, a little savory, right? And now we're gonna taste this in front of the camera, although we already have, so we're gonna reenact. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what he did in the first clip. Second bite, even better. Even better. I definitely like the um, salted caramel and cream cheese glaze. Me too. It's like it makes it taste like a kettle corn popcorn 
flavor on top of gingerbread, which it just, it just works. It just works. Also, pro tip, if you like super crunchy waffles, what we do is we cook off the waffles and then shoot them in the air fryer. And that makes the outside crispy, but still keeps the inside. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft. Crank it up. Yeah. Also feel free to just make this gingerbread waffle. I feel like this waffle in general would just be good with like maple syrup and some butter on it. Have a great day, right? Um, I feel like Colton likes to drench his waffles in sure syrup. So it's like swimming, you know? Hey. What's up? Anyways, if you liked our cooking video today, please don't forget to give us a like. Make sure you comment. Like also, shirt. subscribe and stay tuned for like more of our. Ch trying to close out here. She's trying to close out here. Anyways, thank you all for tuning into our video and we'll catch you next time.